Well, it's been nearly a month since a Meigs County deputy drove into the Tennessee River where he and a woman had arrested, he had arrested, were both found dead. Now, Tabitha Smith's family is seeking some answers. News 12's Nick Hill has a look at a federal lawsuit that has been filed in this case. The complaint speaks for itself. Filed in the Tennessee Eastern District Court on Monday, the family of Tabitha Smith is suing the Meigs County Sheriff's Department for $10 million. Smith was under arrest in the backseat of a Meigs County patrol vehicle when, for unknown reasons, Meigs County Deputy Robert Leonard drove into the Tennessee River at Blythe's Ferry. Both Deputy Leonard and Smith were found dead in the river the next day. In the lawsuit, there are eight different counts levied against the Meigs County Sheriff's Department. The primary one is an argument that Smith's 14th Amendment rights were violated. Or claiming that there was a special relationship at the time of the arrest and that the, uh, the deputy um, violated our, the victim's rights in this case by deprivation of her life and uh, body, bodily integrity. Um, and, and by, you know, without due process. Among other claims in the lawsuit include wrongful death, intentional infliction of emotional distress, and gross negligence. The lawsuit argues that the Meigs County Sheriff's Department failed to properly train Deputy Leonard, who had been in the department for two months, to both fully know his patrol area and not to use his cell phone while driving. The plaintiffs say that the deputy should have known the Blythe Ferry Road goes into the river. Flores says that could be the subject of future legal action. There is exposure there. That is something that will require some, some more work. There are some reasons that I can't go into detail as to why uh, you know, we were concerned about you know, you know, timing. We have reached out to the Meigs County Sheriff's Department and are awaiting a response. In Meigs County, Nick Hill, News 12. Nick, thank you so much for that update. District Attorney Robert Johnson, who represents Meigs County, says his office cannot comment on the lawsuit at this time.